This is Linksys Meraki MX64. It has a one megabyte of NAND flash inside. Uh, we want to be able to access the NAND flash while it is on the board. The four screws here hold the back plate. You need to take off the rubber feet and take off the four screws. The back cover is a little bit difficult to pull over because there are thermal pads here uh, are very sticky to the back. So in order to uh, take off it, you need to pull a little bit here, like so. And if it's only, you know, since I have taken this out, out already, if you only have a small uh, gap here, then you use a, a credit card, you know, slide over. And this is the board. And here is the thermal pads. Uh, it will be very sticky the first time you take it off. This is the NAND flash we are going to program. Here is the uh, Ulink NAND reader and uh, To be able to access on the line. Okay, first of all, I have measured the uh, voltage from the uh, th sorry amperage from the 3.3 volt to the chip. If I program from the Union KMT, it's only about 150 milliamps, so it's safe to use the power from the Union KMT. If not, then we need to use the power on the board. So in this case, I'm going to clip on and and program and access it while the uh, power is on, on the Ulink NT NAND. So to put this on, this is pin one here, you need to do quite a bit of press here. And this looks good. So now let's start the software. Here is we can plug in the USB and power's on and if you feel the power supply here is not hot. That's okay. I have measured it's only about 150 milliamps. Uh, on the computer here, we have uh, predefined the predefined the uh, MX64 with segments here. The flash itself is about one megabyte, so it's quite significant. And we need to separate them from the U-boot. And here, I don't know what it is. Kernel one and ND RAM, kernel two and UV one. And there's some miscellaneous um, data here. This is the software um, pre-release. And when plugged in the USB, uh, it will display the VDD uh, on the target. So it will be around 3.27 volt. Uh, it measures the current uh, voltage on the sensor and determine the uh, voltage to the target. Uh, since this NAND flash is not defined and in the software we have added auto detect as we did for the NOR flash called CFI, in the NAND flash it's called OFNI. So detect will give you the OFNI and we can read, let's say I want to read the U-boot and this is the U-boot here and he, this is called Shimno and that's it. So. Let's read the kernel one and the kernel two and the AMVRAM. So these can be read relatively fast, but the UBI is very large and because of the read speed is of one megabyte per second. So the entire flash read it takes about 20 minutes and I already already uh, have read this before. So Let's take a look at my backup here 
and you will see the UBI is uh, read as well. So this will provide a tool to be able to access the this device and I hope the community of OpenWRT can benefit of this device to be able to put the OpenWRT on this router. This router, uh, since it has the one megabyte of flash, it probably will be very powerful to uh, have a lot of features or apps running on this router.